Hey guys, uh, Tom is here. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's um, Labor Day weekend to all the working people out there. I speak a beer. This is my beer. It's, it's cold tea to you guys. We work hard and we have to provide for our families. So here's to you guys. Uh, the reason for my this video is um, yesterday in uh, Baltimore City uh, they had a shooting involving two uh, teenage young men um, at a school called Mervo or Mergenthaler. Um, it's a school that's in East Baltimore and uh, it's a school that our illustrious um, mayor attended um, back when he was in high school. And he was going to be there for a football game, high school football game. I don't know who the, what the school, I know one school was going to be Mergenthal, and I don't know who that school was. But um, there was an incident at the end of school where um, there was an altercation between two other students, one student from another school and another school from, and, and the one of the students from Mergenthal, which ultimately ended in, uh, bloodshed where the, the student from Mergenthaler was was sh shot and killed and it made me feel really bad because for one thing I have a I have a a, a child um, and he's high school age and he's a young black male as, as well he was going to that school but it made my heart feel bad because you have two African-American men, I'm going to call them men now because they're in high school, uh, and they had to get into this argument and I don't know why this man, man-child I guess, decided he needed to have some type of protection and, and uh, produced the gun and shot the other kid uh, dead in the street. And... Uh, and that's 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 tragic. Um, the young boy, his parents saw him um, night before and saw him in the morning, I believe. And now he's not coming back home again. Same thing for this young man who decided he needed to take a gun to school. His parents probably saw him the night before and probably saw him uh, in. Uh, before the school started, they started, and he's not coming back home again. Both of these kids won't be coming back home ever. Their lives have been drastically changed, and it it makes me it makes me sad. It really does, because the carnage, um, the hurt feelings of uh, the parents um, for both sides. Uh, I don't know what the family dynamics for these uh, kids are, but um, it's it made me really sickened, and I, I I just don't know what to say about that. I mean, I was you know very upset about that uh, because um, we need our young black men. We need our um, parents need to teach our kids uh, about violence, but also not to engage in violence and why would this kid need to resort to violence to make a statement uh, I, I don't know the family dynamics of, of, of that but I'm but as a parent myself um, I don't you I don't have any I, I don't really believe in using that not unless you're threatened or your family member is threatened or there's a justification as to that. And I, I wasn't there, so I'm not party to that, but I know as a, a parent um, how my heart would feel if someone um, had hurt my kid or um, that my child is not coming back home again. And it's, it's a real tragic situation. I, I want to speak to about Baltimore City Public Schools. I'm a proud graduate of Baltimore City Public Schools. And you had the, the mayor there, and you had the 
the CEO of, of Baltimore City Public Schools um, there for that game also because the mayor's going to be there and have gun violence. So this is a this is an indictment on the city of Baltimore itself that can't keep its children safe, and this is an indictment on um, Baltimore on what's going on with Baltimore itself. There's um, there's a lot of lawlessness going on here, and our mayor ran on these things, and it doesn't seem to be getting better. Um, so you know, I don't know what to say. I, you just maybe need to get a new mayor because he's not doing the job. And the other thing I want to say about this is that get your kids out of Baltimore City Public Schools. They're not being teached right. Uh, if you got the money, I, I, my son, he's in private school. Thank the Lord for that that I'm able to provide to get him a great education um, so that he can uh, stand up on his own and, uh, and become a, a strong black man. But you got to get your kids out of public schools, man. Um, no way. I mean, if, if Barack Obama can send his kids to Sidwell Friend paying $10,000 a month instead of going to D.C. public schools, um, you, you'd think that's a hint. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just, I just want to make, a, make that comment. Okay. You guys take care. That's just me just sounding off about this whole situation. All right, guys. Um, to loved ones, the family of the of the murdered child. I'm I'm sorry. I, I really am. Okay, guys. Peace.